What's up everybody? This is Ross with Boxing Pills and today I have some really interesting news about the rematch between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz because up until so far I mean we have seen something that's incredible in the world of boxing we have actually had the earn coming out with an official announcement and you know the rematch is going to be in Saudi Arabia on the 7th of December the announcement was official and on the other side, on the Ruiz side, there was complete silence. Not a tweet, not a declaration, not nothing. And I mean, then, I mean, two or three days ago, Ruiz broke the silence saying, nothing is sure yet. So that's just completely strange. And we didn't know why, you know, because, you know, Eddie Earn officially announced that Ruiz says he's not sure. So what's wrong? Why on Ruiz's side there are so many doubts? And I mean, today, actually, Ruiz's trainer... So one of the people that is most acquainted, mostly involved with the negotiation, released actually an interview for Behind the Gloves. And I mean, he clarified a lot of stuff. I mean, there are still some doubts, but he clarified a lot of stuff. And that's actually, they're right. I mean, I just have to say that they, they are right. He doesn't say that the rematch is not going to happen in Saudi Arabia. He doesn't say that they didn't sign the deal. What he said is that they want two question answer. And it makes a lot of sense, guy, once, guys, once you know them. Because, you know, that's probably the first big match in Saudi Arabia. And so they want to know who the commission is going to be, who is going to overlook the match, who is going to, are, are, are going to be the person responsible for overlooking the match. And the second most important question is that actually there is no VADA no voluntary anti-doping association. And we both know that in the heavyweight, you know, Jarrell Miller, that actually was replaced by Ruiz for the fight, you know, he got caught doping. Dillian White recently also got caught with steroid metabolites in his blood. So this is the most important question. What is going to be the doping association that is going to oversee the rematch in Saudi Arabia? So once they know who is organizing the rematch in Saudi Arabia and who is going to be responsible for the doping test, then they can go in Saudi Arabia. And I mean, what I suspect is that, you know, even if they signed, they have extremely good ground to refuse a match if, there is, if this question are not answered. And so that's why actually Ruiz is concerned, because there are rumors, which honestly I don't believe, that if the rematch happens actually in the UK, people can get away with something that they wouldn't be allowed to get away otherwise. Like, you know, if the rematch happened in the US or in other parts of the world, that's actually the biggest ground of the story. That's why, you know, Ruiz wanted to have the rematch in the US, Anthony Joshua wanted to have the rematch in the UK, even though he changed his mind, and then all of a sudden they have Saudi Arabia. And I honestly think the official reason is actually that they have to know what doping tests are gonna are gonna be tested for and who is going to test for the doping. That's why actually they are refusing to announce the rematch. And I mean honestly, do I believe that the rematch is going to be in Saudi Arabia? Honestly, not so not so much. I mean everybody, all the biggest of the boxing, they say that that's hardly the case. Honestly, I think Hedy Hearn went too much ahead with his announcements and I think he's going to suffer quite a bit. I mean, he's going to be impacted quite a bit because his credibility is going to be greatly diminished if the rematch happens not to be in Saudi Arabia. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like the button if you like the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.